Hey there, today I wanna to spend a little bit of time playing with a brand new technology that I've seen a lot about, but I've not tried out yet. So, bit of background. We have a number of um, storefront starter kits, Angular, a Quick, and Remix. Um, the Remix one is right here, remix-storefront.venger.io. Go and check it out. It's very fast. Uh, Remix is a framework based on React. Uh, similar to Next.js, uh, but different in some important ways. It's a really nice framework to work with and the team behind it have an excellent handle on developer experience and general use of web technologies and the leveraging the power of the web platform. So that's Remix. Um, now, I saw on Twitter the other day, yesterday, um, this tweet from the Remix account saying uh, version 2.1.0 is out now and it says experimental support for view transitions. So if you've not heard of view transitions, it's a way to transition from one uh, DOM state to another, like when you're navigating from one view to another and you can do it in a animated way with different kind of animations. Uh, as an example, here's a, um, a demo from the Astro team. So here it's actually chaining routes from a list view to a detail view. And you can see how the album cover animates in a really smooth way. So that's a view transition. Looks really cool. I've never tried it, but I've seen a bunch of demos that are impressive. And uh, when I checked out the remix change, uh, change log or the release notes, it looks pretty simple how they've implemented it. You apparently only have to add a prop to the link and then there's a single hook that you can use and apparently then you get view transitions. So I thought I better try this out. I read up on the uh, view transition API on MDN. Um, there's not that much on MDN. And as you can see, important note is that it's only supported in Chromium right now. Uh, but there's also an article from the Google team, uh, which is really in depth. And I read through this last night and I kind of got a basic understanding of what's possible and kind of how it works. So let's just try and see if we can follow along with these instructions from Remix and update our Remix storefront. Okay, so let's find the transition point between the, um, the list view for products and then the product detail page. So we're looking at the collections here. We have the product grid. Let's click through here. And then the product card. So the product card, this is where we have the link and we have the image. And the link is where we want to add this new property. So let's jump back over to their release notes. And we can see we got to add this unstable view transition property to the link. Okay, let's just add that there. And now let's just see what happens. So let's run the um, Remix dev server. Okay, let's go to the list view. And if we click through here, Okay, so we've already get, got here a transition. So this is the default uh, view transition, which is just a crossfade, which already looks pretty nice. It just makes the change feel smoother. I kind of like that. And I guess we could do that also. So when, we, when we're changing between uh, collections and going drilling down into the child collections, we could add one here. So let's try that breadcrumbs collection card right here. So link again, let's just add that view transition right there and that link. Okay, let's open this up again. So now let's see if we get transition when we drill down to these sub collections. Yeah, that's nice, very smooth. So that's literally just with adding a prop to the link. So I would say bravo to the Remix team, whatever they've done behind the scenes, they've made it really simple to implement these basic view transitions which for many cases would probably be a big improvement. But let's try and recreate this effect where this thumbnail is gonna expand out into the product detail page, cause that looks really cool. Let's see what it takes. So if we head over to the release notes again, we see um, what else they're doing is they're using a hook is transitioning. Um, so this looks like it would be some kind of Boolean, which will be true when the transition is taking place. And then they use that here in this style uh, prop and they're setting a CSS style, uh, CSS property view transition name. Um, if, if the transition is happening, they'll set it to image expand. Okay, so view transition name. This is something I came across in this article. Yeah. 
Okay. So it's like, from my understanding, it's a way to link different DOM elements together and say, for the purposes of a transition, these are like the same thing um, if, the, if the, the name or the ID matches. So in this example here, we've got one, the, the name image expand. We'll just copy paste that. Actually, let's copy paste this one first, this hook. We'll go into the product card and add that hook right here. Let's make sure to import it. Good. And then this should be the um, route that we're going to. So we can just duplicate that right here. Okay. And then we can copy paste this style prop. And we want to set, this is being set on the image itself, not on the link. So here's the image. Let's paste that right there. So you can see uh, TypeScript's complaining because it doesn't know about this view transition name is too new. So let's do something naughty here and say as any, I think this is a legitimate case to do that. And now it's happy. Now the, the other side of this is that we also need to use this image expand. Uh, we need to put this uh, on the target uh, transition, which is like the product detail page, which is right here. Is it here? No, it's not here. Let's find it. Products slug. Yeah, it's this one. So let's find the big image here and we'll add that view transition name. We don't need it to be conditional. We can just keep it as image, image expand. So because that image expand uh, string matches from the uh, thumbnail and it matches to the product detail page, the transition API should know that this is the same element. So it should like smoothly animate it. We hope. So let's save that. Now it's going to rebuild and let's check the results. Okay. So we'll go here and let's see if it works. Wow. Even the back button works as well. I just click back and you get this smooth transition. Wow. Not bad. Okay, so one thing I noticed is if the uh, aspect ratio of the image changes a lot, if we see, for example, this wooden side desk is kind of, they're all kind of portrait, slightly portrait format here. If I click through and it's like a landscape, it looks a bit not so great because the bottom bit kind of fades away. Um, I'm sure there's probably tweaks you can make, but I would say for like a few lines of code, that is a really impressive result. So yeah, uh, view transitions, uh, you can go and play with them now. They're available in Chromium browsers. And um, I think we're going to see all the frameworks implement their own kind of wrappers and abstractions on top of this because it's going to be something that's really powerful. Hopefully not overused, but if you use it a little bit sparingly, then I think it can make your web application, your e-commerce store, whatever, really pop. Okay, so um, all of that is to say our Remix starter is now updated to the very latest version of Remix. So if you need an e-commerce store, um, Remix is a fantastic option and we've done most of the hard work. When I say we, I mean myself, plus mainly the Venger community who know a lot more about Remix and React than I do. Um, it's a great little starter. And um, as you can see, you can spice it up very easily now with the latest Remix version.